Good evening. Today, I would like to speak about two very important functions recently under two software, both of them for data manipulation and visualization. There is a several possible situation uh, when you need to split or merge your data or for example for downfall data sometimes you have a many many files with only three channels inside three or four and you need to merge it to seismograms or for example all your data represented as an array of traces and you need to split it into shots Let's check it. For example, recently I've received these files. This is uh, the whole data and every shot has a free trace. So what I need, I need to put first trace to the first shot, second to the second and third for the to the third for every shot here. So I can use uh, this option, split and merge is this option. So it will took every first or second, third channel and put it to the different shots. It is free, so it should be three shots finally. Let's do it. Okay, now I have three shot. It's not necessary that uh, files should be separate to one to three traces. It's maybe just one file with many, many traces, just one shot. It's anyway will be sorted in, in the way I just showed you. Another thing, for example, uh, here I have uh, many trays in short, and I would like to split it to different parts. For example, two you know, parts in 24 receivers. Let me try to do it. And in this way, I will use this option, and every shot will contain 24 channels, if it's possible, of course. So we can split and merge data in different ways in one operation. Also, these options can be useful if, for example, you have a, some project and you would like to uh, show all, all shots together. In this case, we need to use these options in the first way. And it will be put just in one shot. Now you can see how it looks like. So of course we can pick it, but um, it's not completely correct. So after doing some stuff here, we need to go back. It's also possible with this option. Here is 48 electrodes. We use second way. So it's a little bit of oh, not electrodes, so so gap ones. And now we will split it back. Okay. This is very important and sometimes very required options. Option. And another one is uh resorting of array in a reciprocity way. 
so we can um, replace our receivers to sources and sources to receivers. And this is especially very significant when we process uh, cross-borehole data, where we have a lot of uh, source and receiver positions, and also for very dense seismic tomography, because if we have uh, this um, dense uh, survey, we will see just uh, seven, eight trays per shot. It's not enough. So we can use this option. Uh, yes, we will consider anyway. And we can work uh, when we swap. Uh, S and R, they can work in the same way like we did it before in regular way. And we can get back again. Now I'll show you how it looks like for crossbow hole. Here we have some shots. And it's that already picked and inverted. So we can use this option for swapping S and R. And now it sometimes can really improve our quality of picking. So we can see all these uh, noises on our travel time curve, and we can improve it a little. For example, here is a perfect data, and we can we can pick it. And do all this job. After we finish, we can back to uh, normal mode. So this is very, very important options. Oh, we will be very useful to you. Thank you for your attention and bye-bye.